This week I was asked to create a timeline of the story of my life and I was given this large sheet of paper um, with a line and I was asked to put these post-it notes um, of major events in my life on this timeline. And so um, I had two sets of post-it notes and uh, there was purple and that was supposed to represent just the great experiences in my life, the really impactful relationships and um, just times that I had really encountered God. And then there were the blue post-it notes and that was to represent just times of suffering and of trial in my life. And so when I started, um, I just started with the purple ones and I wrote a few down and then um, I got to the blue ones and the task just became so much more challenging. Um, I didn't really feel great about recounting all of these events, um, but as I did that, I began to realize how these events had shaped me and how I had really found Jesus through these events. And um, I think that he, he used these weakest points in my life um, to, to teach me how to trust him. I think many of us do this. We seek Jesus in our lowest points, and we do this because we know he's been through it all. Whether we're tempted or feeling alone or feeling betrayed by those closest to us, we know that he experienced it all. Hebrews 4 says, we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. So let us approach the throne of God with grace and confidence so that we may receive the mercy and his grace in our time of need. We celebrate this time of Christmas because it's the time when our Lord became man. He became a man, was born in a stable, and he lived here on earth, and he endured everything that we do so that he might share fully in everything that we experience in this life. He loved us and he had grace enough to share in our humanity and to experience the joys and the trials that we face. Many of the blue post-it note times that I could think of in my life related to times that I needed to trust God the most when I needed to rely on Him to help me through making major decisions in my life or just going through a really hard time. And I knew that in all of these times I could trust Him because He has always proved to be faithful. We just heard those prophecies of Jesus coming and He has so many promises that He made. Um, his promises of sending a man to be born of a virgin birth and to come and reign over the earth. And these prophecies were written years, 500 years before the birth of Christ. And Christ coming and becoming a man fulfills these prophecies, which proves that God is faithful and allows us to have a God who can empathize with us. So whatever gifts we receive this season, we know that the gift of Christ is the greatest we receive.